What is up, guys and girls? It is KG Football Man 79 here again, bringing you my second tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to install mods with McPatrick HD and with 7-Zip. So I will have, actually, no, I will be making another video um, in the future that shows you all my mods, and I will be putting the links in the description for them. But for now, for an example, we are going to use um, Marglyph's Too Many Items mod. All right, this will be will, we will be using this as our example. Now I'm going to first show you how to install it with 7-Zip. And if you don't know how to install 7-Zip or McPatcher, um, I will put a link in the description to my video where I show you how to do that. And that was my video before this. So once you have 7-Zip and McPatcher, we're going to go to Download for Minecraft 1.25. And you simply just want to wait the 5 seconds for the download to start. Once you wait the 5 seconds, you want to click Skip Add. And then your download will start. It's basically instant. So what you want to do for this, you want to click open, and I'm going to go out of this browser. Now what you to do, what you can do is either you can highlight all these files, but what you can do, you can cl click control A as an apple to highlight all the items. And then you want to right click, just click okay. That's it's not harmful by the way. And you want to click copy. Then you can just exit out of this, and you want to make a new folder on your desktop. You can make the folder anywhere, I guess, but I'm going to make it on my desktop just for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to name this too many items. All right. You want to open the folder and then paste all the files. Now this I'm just simply doing because it makes things easier just to remember. Now what you want to do with 7-zip, you want to go to percent app d a t a percent. Percent is shift 5 and then you just want to type in app d a t a app data. You want to click enter. Then you want to go to your dot minecraft folder, bin folder. And then most of you should have two folders here, um, Minecraft and then Minecraft, whatever version it is, 1.24, 1.25, etc. Forget the version folder. You just want to go to the blank. It, it should just be Minecraft by itself. Forget the 1.2 whatever stuff. Just go to Minecraft, light, right click on it. Then um, right below open, you want to go to 7-zip, open archive. Now you can just exit out of this. And there should be a meta imp folder here, capital M, capital E, T, A dash capital I and F. You'd want to delete that because that I don't I already deleted it, but that's the folder that prevents mods and all that stuff. So you want to delete it. Once that's deleted, you want to open your folder that you saved on the desktop. Again, highlight all the items by clicking control A. I'm gonna bring this down a bit. And then you want to drag it into here. You want to drag those files into 7-zip. Now that's how to do it with 7-zip. Um I'm actually going to get those out of 7-Zip, and then I will install it with McPatcher. Alright guys, what you want to do when installing it with McPatcher, if you have McPatcher, you have to install these mods with it, or else they might become deleted, or they will be, or Minecraft will become corrupted. If you don't have McPatcher, just install it with 7-Zip or WinRAR, whatever extractor file you have. Now I'm going to exit out of this. Forget this desktop folder. This doesn't do anything with McPatcher. But for the perp, um, actually, not, no. But I am just going to save it under my personal folder just so I know what my mod. What you want to do when using McPatcher, you want to open it up. Alright, and then if you already have it patched, you can do that. But what you want to do to add a mod to this, you want to go to the plus, click on it. And then forget the uh, folder that you have on your desktop. I sent mine to my personal folder, but it will not work. It has to be the actual zip file. So it has to be the original file you downloaded. Basically, to find that, you want to go to your downloads folder, and you, it's in alphabetical order, so I'm going to go down to T for too many items, and here it is. You just want to click on that, click open, and then here's all these class files that will become part of the McPatcher, and you just want to click OK. And now too many items is installed with McPatcher, and then you just want to click patch. And now too many items is 100% supported by McPatcher, so it will not become deleted, or Minecraft will not become corrupted. So I'm actually going to download all my mods and then put them in here, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys. So I just downloaded all of my mods and what I'm gonna, or I installed them using McPatcher. And now what I'm going to do, I'm not just going to click patch, and then you should be good to go. So I'm actually going to exit out of my browser, and then I'm going to log into Minecraft. Log in. Oh, all right, there we go. This was actually the world I use it, used for my previous video, but I'm going to rename this to Mods. Rename. 
click on it and then play selected world now just to see that the mods are installed I'm going to click B and here is my too many items mod I actually wonder yep there's my uranium sweet um, actually where's my uranium block oh there we go alright there's my too many items mod and yeah and then mod loader is on that's one of the ones I downloaded and another one I downloaded that's kind of important is the uh, auto switch mod so I'm gonna show you that real quick I'll show you I'll go into a more detailed one in the uh, future or in my next video so I'm gonna get a gold pickaxe shovel alright so I'm actually going to place oh no I don't want that ah, get off there we go <laughs> No, gotta stand up here. There. We go. Why does that? Why does this seem kind of laggy? What's my render? Um. Sorry, I'm checking. Oh, okay, that's fine. So, just to make that the auto, make sure that the auto switch mod works, you're gonna click F10 to start it. I'm actually gonna click P to make it the worst item. I actually think I already had it on worst item. Yep, there we go. Basically, auto switched automatically switch to the best or the worst tool for making it. So yeah, guys, that was basically how to install any mods um, that you have using McPatcher or 7-Zip. And for 7-Zip, I didn't really go into too much detail, but basically you just want to compl er, uh, complete the same process over and over with all the mods you have. So uh, if, you, if this helped you out, please leave a like and a favorite. Um, I would really appreciate it, and it lets me know that I'm doing a pretty good job with my tutorials. Make sure to comment with any questions, concerns you have, or maybe con some constructive criticism on how to make my videos better or what I could do. And as always, make sure to subscribe for more upcoming uh, Minecraft gameplay. I will be actually starting my new series in the next video, and eventually I will be uploading Call of Duty gameplay. So again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.